Thanks for letting us crash, guys. Now, I don't know what's wrong with you, Pear. Out on hot dates and both home alone by half eleven. Jane, we only went to see a film. Yeah, and you should have taken advantage of that. Invited her in for a nightcap. What, you mean like you tried to? Before she blew you out? <laughs> well, I just didn't want to push it on the first date. At least tell me you got cosy on the back row. Well, unlike some people, they're not 14 anymore. And what's your excuse? Well, I could hardly do anything with you cramping my style, could I? Anyway, I'm not sure I even want to. You were staring at Natasha all night. I may have glanced over occasionally, <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's a great idea. I mean, we work together every day. I work with Faye. Yeah, you've got nowhere with her either. <laughs> yeah, it's more complicated than that with Natasha. I mean, we're tied together financially. Her husband's just left. Yeah, so's face. It's a shame it's the same one. Oh, morning. You just take your time. No need to rush on account of us. You just wander in whenever you like. We don't mind doing all your jobs while you're tucked up nicely in bed. I'm gonna minute, Kane. I'm five minutes late. You don't even bother showing up if you're not in the mood. Yeah, that's because I'm allowed to, because I'm your boss. Or at least I would be if you did some work for me. Right, what happened again? Give him a break, eh? He just had a night out, hadn't he? Oh, I Stay up late, did you? Dancing your buns off to the YMCA? Shut up. Or did you, uh, get lucky and take someone home, eh? Well, it's none of your business, eh? Oi. I'm only having a laugh. There's no one to get moody, is there? Yeah, well, don't. Look, mate, just bring it down left side, yeah? So I'm guessing last night didn't go very well, then. So what do you think? You didn't have another fight, did you? See, that's what people think. I'm just a nutter who can't control no, no, himself. No, they don't, mate. When I'm on community payback, I'm a puff, and when I go out in town, I'm a psycho who wants to beat everyone up. I just wish everyone would leave me alone. Morning. Did you have a good time last night? Nicky said he enjoyed the film. Yeah, well, if that's all he enjoyed, it can't have been that great. <sighs> I heard you had an interesting evening, too. Well, <laughs> it wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but uh, I'm sorry about Jay. I'll put him back in his box next time. Mm -hmm. So, you're planning a next time already? Actually, I was wondering if you wanted to come with me to my place today. Oh, I hope you don't think I'm going to knock down any walls. No, but gardening, she's really good at that. Great with a spade, aren't you? I just wanted to show you around, see what you think. I'll even treat you to a sandwich and a packet of crisps. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're going to throw in some gourmet food, how would I possibly resist? He's asking for your permission on his new place. He's going to be asking you to move in next. Yes, well, at least I get a bit of peace and quiet from you, love. Sure, we'll get you those, those by Tuesday, can we, Blake? OK. All right, bye. Hiya. Hi. It's all you and Maisie leave together last night. It's nice for you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You yeah, actually made quite a good couple, which is weird, really, because I'd have said she was well out of your league before. <laughs> you seen her again, then, have you? Well, uh, as much as I'd love to tell you all about it, break finished about five minutes ago. Back on the line, otherwise I'm going to dock your pay. Mm. So come on, then. How did you leave it? Took her home. Said I might see her soon. What, and that's it? I told you, I didn't want to push my luck. You need to take control, pal. Women prefer a man who does that. And that's why you've got a stream of them beating down your door, is it? Thanks for the advice, but I think I can handle this one. I never thought I'd see the day. Your name above that garage and not even in graffiti. <laughs> I'm a legitimate businessman now, aren't I? Apart from me off nicking things and getting cars ringed. I'm a change man, and if you're a good boy, maybe one day you can achieve the same. In the meantime, make a nice cup of tea. You trying to wind me up? I figured you could do with a smile putting on that miserable mug of yours. <laughs> and he quite fancies Mr. April, don't you, pal? <laughs> <laughs> well, I prefer Mr. September myself. Oi! You're not supposed to be looking. Well, it's hard not to. If you don't want that, I'll happily stick that on my bedroom wall. Uh, no. Well, serves you right for winding up your employees. They've both got the mental age of five, just ignore them. Oh, I usually do.
Would you mind asking them to move it, please? I've got a skip coming. Well, don't put it on my property. I wouldn't dream of it. This part of the road actually belongs to me. Since when? Since the boundaries were drawn up years ago. It's in the deeds. Perhaps you should have checked them out before you bought the place. I was going to start using that area to sell cars. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry about that, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Stick his flaming skip right up his boundaries. Mm. She wants to see a mock up. I thought you'd already done one. I did. She changed her mind. Uh, yeah, no, Nicola, she'll probably have you doing about eight different versions and then go back to the first one. <laughs> well, she's paying. Not enough. Need the money, need everything we can get. Hey, maybe if I find a way of leaving the pins in when I do the alteration, she'll make up her mind. <laughs> have you been stealing from us again? Why are the shelves completely empty? Maybe because you decided to shut the shop down. Yeah, well, I didn't say you could have the rest of the stock, did I? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I hope you're taking enough. You're going to need it when you can't get another job. You know, the only good thing about being unemployed is not having to work for him anymore. I don't work for Nicola. It's probably because you're trying to wear sticking pins in him. <laughs> oh, hey. So we've got the builders in. You can't leave that there. I've got my orders, love. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah, it's, I like it. Really? Are you sure if you ignore the damp and the rat droppings, it's going to be fine? Good, good, because I want to make it comfortable, should anyone want to come round and visit. Are you planning on having a lot of visitors? Maybe. Right, well, you better get a move on, because no one in their right mind is going to want to visit just yet. Well, at least there are no kids here, hmm. so I'd have the place to myself, should anyone come round on the off. Mr. Macy. Oh, hello, Edna. Mrs. Birch, do come in. What on earth do you think you're doing, leaving that eyesore in full view of my property? This is about the skip. I want it removed immediately. Well, then you'd have rubble all over the road. I don't see why I should put up with either. Look, Mrs. Birch, there will be some disruption while the renovation is going on, but I can promise you it won't be for long. I'll tell you what, why don't you show Edna around? Because we were in the middle of something? But far more important to keep your neighbours happy. I will see you by the car. I still think you did that on purpose. Well, I just thought I might like to get to know your new neighbour, that's oh, all. Oh, yeah, I know all about the local church groups, the flower arranging, <laughs> not to mention a little tootsie. <laughs> oh, you, she's definitely taken a shine to you then. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to leave you with Rodney Blackstock, see how you like that. Oh, thanks a lot. Hello. Yes. Yeah, it was after a quote. You two are starting to sound like an old married couple. Yeah, well, I am not looking to get into another relationship, and I'm certainly not getting married again. Well, you deserve to have someone who makes you smile. Who's getting married? No one. Well, if Maisie doesn't shut up, she'll be finding someone new to live. <laughs> My ears look red to you. Look, we weren't talking about you, OK? I never said you were. Actually, I was telling her that nothing's going on. You're right. I mean, how could it? I mean, we never get a minute to ourselves. No, that's why we said we'd keep it casual. I mean, my life is far too complicated and it wouldn't be fair to start a relationship. That's right. I mean, there's no point in, in making things awkward. No. And anyway, I don't fancy you. No, well, of course not. I mean, you're bright. Uh, you're, you're stylish. I mean, you're kind of sexy in your own way, but you're really not my type. No, and you are definitely not my type either. So I think, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's fine. We're going to be able to keep things on a purely professional level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mum? We've been robbed. What? Yeah, well, if anyone had bothered going down the shop recently, they'd have realised the staff have been stealing the remaining stock. Well, it's not like we need it. Do you know what? I'm going to call the police. 
over a few jars of jam. I don't care what it is. I don't want people walking around thinking they can rip us off. Can't you just sort it later? Mum's in there with Declan. I think they want some time to themselves. What for? Uh, 